hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM The Impossible Challenge because when we last left off we were doing the impossible here at XCOM that's right we've currently successfully defended this base losing no operatives let's keep the good times rolling shall we by using our steel anchors to interdict our airlock cleansing it of aquatoid and calcinite you know menace, disgustingness Whatever you want to call. We're really low on ammunition for our operatives here, though. So let's just use the remaining ant clip from Crystal. To miss entirely. I'll reload her ant clip gorse rifle. Now it's time for Uta to unleash her projectile weapon. That's a good explosion. And that actually did the job. Taking out that calcinite with a good, good hefty explosion. Alright, so now the steel anchor can go around. What, I can't actually go around this way? It's ridiculous. Oh, now I can. Apparently I can just go up. Right. I don't know if any aliens actually hide up on the top cells or not, but hey. So that's good for now. Our steel anchor is now clo oh, no, cloaked. Is now covered in the, the gas. Smoke. It's a bit hard to issue the order to actually get across, but we got there eventually. The seal anchor has now maneuvered around. We can now see a single alien. Can't particularly shoot at it at this point. Everyone else has already had their shots. That's okay, so we're just going to duck back a bit and we'll deal with him later. This particular seal anchor will actually take a few, few squares back and then actually shoot these missiles. Torpedoes, sorry. We need to destroy all the torpedoes so the seal anchor can get through to this side over here. It could just go back, I suppose, but I think it can get through now. If not, we'll take one more shot next turn. It's easily enough to do. Cool. All right. Well, that's that seal anchor is inside. And this one's just going to stay over there. So, so far we're doing quite well. Let's get our troops to redeploy to support our vehicles. Martin Roberts. Over here. Andrew... Lam... Uh, <laughs> Complete mouthfuls. Franco, of course. And some from over here. Like Gen Legardi. Gennady. Oh no. There's people of names that don't make sense because they're not English. <laughs> and I'm used to English names. Yeah. Take that. Alright. Pressing on. Um. I'm content with this turn. Turn 9. Bring it on. That particular Aquatoid doesn't actually do much. Just moving itself around. You know. Flexing its body. A single MC attack unleashed by that alien over there. Calcinite has panicked. We've only 28 morale. That Anuta has panicked from the molecular control attack, which is a little bit scary. She was the one hole carrying the gas can. Let's write down Uta's name over now. Over there now. Alright, so they're just hiding out there. We'll try to flush them out using our seal anchor over here. Outflank them, as some would say. There's one over there. Hello. Can't MC a tank. And that's uh, yep. Knowing is half the battle. So there's another sea link. There's another uh, aquatoid over there. Crystal should be able to shoot at it. So let's give it a shot, Crystal. That's a good shot. Can you make it a second shot? Yes, you can. That's good, it's another Aquatoid biting the dust. Let's get this Seal Anchor to come on down, driving over the corpses of our enemies. Oh yes, that is stylish. There's another Aquatoid. Let's shoot it. We actually missed this time. Fortunately, we have another, another Seal Anchor over here. Who can attack as well? That's another dead Aquatoid. Let's get this Sea Anchor to go down and check if there's anyone here. And there isn't. Let's go up. And up again. 
Anyone here? Nope. Let's go through. We need to make sure there's no one here at all. So I'll be checking out each floor, turn by turn. Cool, let's get Martin Roberts up here. Oh, we can actually see that, that seal anchor, th sorry, that calcinite that panicked earlier. We need to finish it off. Let's finish it off, shall we, Martin? That's the seal anchor. That's the calcinite. You ran out of ammo doing it. Let's shoot this torpedo, shall we? It's a good effort. We're going to need to buy some more ducks after this. Alright, Andrew, come on down. Take a few shots, will you? That's stunned, but good enough, probably. We did do some explosive damage to it before. Alright, Franco, out you come. Cool. Take, just take guard there. So that's the, that's the anchor that's done. Orski can come around. Orski's done well, actually. Orski mischief, as I'd probably call him. Only three, three units left in his weapon, though. Yeah, these guys are pretty low on the, the ammo count. Poor Martin's down to three, down to nothing. Alright. Alright, let's hit turn. Turn 10. There's not a lot of hidden movement left. I think this is a successful base defense. What about you? Let's check out the rest of this floor, shall we, Seal Anchor? It seems clear. Alright. Pop your head out there, Seal Anchor. Over here? You can see a particular enemy over there. Not just at the edge of our sight range here. You get two shots. The second shot does good work, taking out the enemy earlier. Now let's get Andrew to pop around here. Hopefully not choking on the gas too much. Our vehicles have been do doing the brunt of the, the smoke work, so it's fine. Alright, so... Mud, let's get you in here as well. It goes to show, though, what difference it makes just having those extra crew, but also those extra vehicles. These vehicles have done great work, this particular base defense mission. It doesn't look like they could cross those ramps, but they can. Let's keep getting these sea lankers to traverse around this area. Just in case... I think we've actually finished though, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the last turn. But just in case, we'll move people around. Alright, um... Oh, of course this seal anchor, which fought against all odds to try and just get through a corridor. Oh yes, it's finally got here. And we're backing up our good friend Andrew here. That's Andrew, right? Yeah, it is. That's in turn. That was it! Successful base defense. Oh, yes. Base is saved. Excellent score. 500 points. 70 alien artifacts. 3 live aliens recovered. 21 corpses. We did good work. That's right. Promotions. Many and magnificent. We have a new commander. A lieutenant and a large number of ensigns as well. Congratulations to all. We'll have to name these people soon. Feel free to give some comments, of course. So, yeah. Let's sell some stuff. So, let's see how much stuff they gave us, eh? 70 alien artifacts, 21 bodies. Let's check it out. It's a large number of sonic cannons and sonic cannon power clips. Of course, a look at all those thermal shock bombs. Wow, they brought a lot of thermal shock launchers. They probably wanted to take us alive for interrogation and dissection. But that wasn't on. You know, we said no. No further. So we have, once again, a huge number of aquatoid corpses and calcinite corpses. 
We actually have researched most of these already anyway. We probably could just sell them all. But hey, 22 million. And, of course, a good deal. And now, just to make things even more interesting, aliens launch port attack on Vanny Lostock. And it will be night by the time we get there. So, um, off we go. Well, the good news is, I mean, look at the graphs. The score is astronomical at the moment because we just did so much. So, you know, in theory, we can actually tank a base, a, a terror site lost. Aliens have launched an attack against surface sites. The port and its civilian population have been put at risk. Your squad must eliminate all aliens and protect the innocent bystanders from this alien incursion. To quit, we must place Aquanoids into the flying sub and click on the abort mission icon. Oh yes. Let's do it. Another terror site. And so here we are once again in the middle of night at Fatty Vlostok. Of our fluorescent yellow tanks. Good thing they've got headlights though, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see. So the question of the day is, or the night is, what are we facing? Who is our enemy? We don't know. Until now. It is once again Aquatoids. Why is it always Aquatoids? Fortunately, we have lots of chemical flares, so we're just going to throw them out liberally. Um, Aquatoids we should be able to deal with. Oh, but we just dealt with a base attack. We should be able to deal with a terror site. So who's got time units? Everyone has a decent amount of time units, so that's a good start. We can see three enemy aliens. All of them, except that one, the Calcinates. So we didn't deal with each of them in turn. That witch chick needs to come out as well. It's like, she needs to just snap, snap and fluke shot this. That was awful. It was a good attempt, but it was awful. Alright, see like a gas cannon. I'm actually asking you to do the fluke shot now. That is so good. Probably saved like three people's lives right there. Alright. Let's get the generic female out. And in a generic display of genericness, for that chemical flare. Cool, so we've tossed two flares. It's a good start. Let's get the epic spice girl combination out as well. That will be some further threat flowing in the future. The flares will be thrown freely and liberally. Let's just deploy in a sensible fashion. That's good. It's good stuff. We've already got an area that we can immediately explore. So we're outside the craft. So once again we need to just hug the ocean, go up the sides, then clear out the buildings, and then just to see how we go. Preferably not losing anybody. That would, that's the key. Losing people is the issue. <laughs> oh, we can see someone here as well. That's an aquatoid. That's a little bit more concerning than a calcinite. No one here can fire at all. Krug, just drop your magna pack. You know, a big part of me was hoping for a... Hoping against hope, so to speak. For a, um... A Gilman terracide. That would have been amazing. We need a, a deep one so badly, but... It's not coming out. So, yeah, let's just in turn and see what happens. That person died. That's what happens. So did that one. Rather gory explosion, actually. That girl's and I just walks off, waddling off. That one comes closer. It interacts with the tank in a way such as staring. Wow, that sonic blast to one shot. The seal anchor. Wow, that's amazing. Wow. Okay, the first calcinite does nothing. The second one's like, okay, I'm actually going to kill it now. The first one was just for fun. All right, so the epic spy skill combi. Could you please shoot this good aquatoid? Oh, it was a sonic cannon. That makes sense. Please actually kill it. As is not good. That was bad. I know. Well, generic female, it's up to you. Well, it's not up to you anymore, because you're out of time units. I know those guys are there. I saw them. So, out comes Krug. Krug shoots gun. 
Crunk shotgun well. That witch chick also comes out and she'll fire. Turns out the gas cannon's a good gun. You know, I didn't realise how good the gun was until the gun was a gun and it shot. So we're immediately down to Sri Lankans. That's not a good start. You saw how amazing they are last mission. We're not going to have that access to that sort of firepower this mission. We're also down to mostly rookies. You know, these people might be promoted, but their accuracy is still pretty shot. 54, 55, 40, 57, that's decent, 38, yeah, we're, we're, we're rookie level accuracy here, this is not a great spot, but hey, let's stop talking about it, let's start actually shooting people. So, Mr. Pazekinek, could you please throw your flare, actually just put it away, we don't need it. Get ready to see someone else get shot. Good start. Okay, that witch chick can actually throw her flare there. That's a good throwing. Okay, so we're going to see the, the death of Spice Girls. That was the end of the movement. It was a good band, but it wore off that quickly. Of course, the generic female immediately gets mind control in a very appropriate sense of um, tropes and cliches. But not, not to the extent that she dies. It's just a, a minor, minor control. Okay, now she can retaliate against the Aquatoid. And miss entirely. That's amazing. Alright, Mr. Pazekanek, could you please retaliate against this Aquatoid and actually kill it? It's a, it's a big ask, I know, but hey. It seems that I'm asking a bit too much of people today. We did a base defense and that was good. And now we're dying to a Terrasite. That's how the way we roll here at XCOM, apparently. But Krug, in his ethnic simplicity of his ways, just says, you know what, we can do it. I shoot gun good. And that's right, he shot that gun good. So here we are, with that witch chick. We're down to five operatives, and it's turn three. I've killed, like, four aliens so far. So it's somewhat a decent exchange, I suppose. We're so blind, though. Vehicles are such a big help. <sighs> Turn four. Oh, yes. So the generic femur. Let us throw you an extra flare further forwards because you're encumbered anyway. Cool. Map be generic. Move forwards. Okay, there's a calcinite there. Can we do something about it? There's a calcinite there as well. Okay. Well, the witch should be able to kill it. Not actually, but hey, it was a good attempt. Alright, so... Can Bumblebee kill it? That's a question that I've always wanted to ask. Can Bumblebee kill a Calcinite? The answer is no. No, he can't. Should never have asked. Except, Mr. Pazekanek, could you please do the honours? I realise I might have asked a bit too much of XCOM today. Krug. <laughs> does your simple-minded simplicity apply here as well? Yes, it does. Well, that's good to know. Throw your flare. That's a good throw. Crouch. Cool. Well, that witch chick just will stand here. Well, there's calcinites, that's for sure. That's a... That's a sonic pulsar. That's yet another calcinite. It's probably going to get killed with a sonic pulsar, though. It killed something. That witch chick, though, is a bit concerned. We can see that alien. Kill it, will you? We're killing melee units really well. That that female also died pretty badly. Krug, check it out. I don't want to check it out. That edge is just death. There's three people have already died there. A tank and two other things. 
All right, Krug, um, stay back. Mr. Pazekanek, uh, encircle the craft. Might be a scrub mission though. I can't see anything. We can't see anything in that direction, so it seems safe, but. You never know, do you? That witch chick, strangely immune to the effects of gas. I suppose what can you get with witches? Cannot see any enemy aliens, so it's time to enter this, this building. And crouch. Meanwhile, so we're down to four, four operatives, including one commanding officer. That's it, turn. Good on you, Krug. You are awesome. Wow. <laughs> that Aquatoid just was cut down. Cut down by Krug. Look at this man. It's, you know, 58 reactions. His accuracy is shot, but he is awesome at everything else. Oh, that witch chick has finally started taking inhalation damage. Suffocation, rather. Is there anyone up here? Apparently not. Only top secret XCOM secrets. Oh well, you know, it's what happens. Oh, you can't see an enemy alien. Right there. Kill it, will you? I'm not going to get you shot by taking a second shot. Let's get you back out of here. Turn, turn. Turn eight. Okay. Well, let's get this switch back downstairs. Can you see anyone now, Croc? See an alien up there. Okay. Let's take a shot, shall we? We lit a fire, but didn't actually kill the enemy alien. But hey, it felt good. And that's what matters. Let's get Bumblebee to take some shots. One more, maybe? Nope. That was awful, Bumblebee. Feel ashamed of yourself? I hope so. He can't actually go back inside. That's great. Sir Pazekanek, can you take a shot? Can you kill this alien? That is a good thing. You may, you just killed an alien, and it's now dead. There are two aliens here that we can shoot. Now we have a witch. It's more than prepared to do the shooting. Here we go. That's a good kill. It's good kills, actually. Two, two aliens dead. Twice the fun. Ah, look at that. And then our morale suddenly starts to swing back into our favor. You know, these... Oh, eyes are just flares, but, you know, we've killed a decent number of Calcinites here and destroyed their bodies. And a decent number of Aquatoids, you know, a bunch here, a bunch of the building. Let's see if we can pull a win out here. Lots of hidden movement, of course. It's not one yet, but hey, it's a good start. Krug is a bit low on the ammunition count. Let's see if we can get him a, a, and a replacement stash of ammunition. It's good stuff. Why run around with one bolt when you can run around with eight? It's just a good statement, a good question. There's another guilt, another Aquatoid. Of course that witch can fire. 
The second shot, eliminating the enemy Aquatoid. Sapper's Echonek needs to relight this scene. Too many, too many chemical flares have been destroyed. So that's good. Honestly, you should throw both. Let's get you back into cover. Still don't know what shot from this direction to kill the Spice Girls off. Actually, not the Spice Girls, the, um, the generic female. But at least we still have the witch. She's almost out of ammunition though, so she'll need to reposition herself. Oops. She can't do anything this turn. Even if there were aliens nearby, we're not going to be able to see them with this amount of hidden movement. There's a lot of fog. Alright, so let's get Krog supporting Sir Pazekanek, or Mr. Pazekanek. And of course that witch chick. Cannot see a thing. I need to recover some of our flares. Should be some there, actually. Bumblebee, actually, could you grab one? Cheers. Next turn, we can throw some flares forward. We need to have that visibility that we need. Turn 10. Well, I think what we can establish is that the immediate vicinity is clear of enemy aliens. So what we're going to do is call it a video. When we come back, we'll press forward to see if we can cleanse this the rest of the Vati Vlostok of the alien Aquatoid threat.